So, as you're watching this video, I might guess that you probably bought something from my Etsy. And great, thank you. Thanks a lot for that. And uh, now you would like to see how to modify pictures in order to get them decent enough for printing or any anything POD related like a t-shirt or a mug or something. So let's have a look. First, uh, on your computer, you open the website Canva, that's canva.com. And I personally, um, I'm a subscriber for them, so I pay a little bit money for, for them now because I use the Canva design templates daily in, in making YouTube videos or uh, designing digital art or anything like that. So it's been very good for me. Um, but it's free and you can use it for free also It just narrows down your options a little bit when it comes to designing stuff In Canva you might have to register at first. I can't even remember how it goes um, I've been using this for too long so but I'm guessing you might have to register and uh, after you've registered um, you go to the home of Canva and um, on the upper right corner you can see an upload button and you click that one and a pop-up will appear that asks you to choose files which you want to um, use for your design. So you click the choose files button and um, Canva will open up the view from your computer where you have all your files and folders and uh, as you have uh, downloaded some of my work from Etsy, I am guessing your computer has put them to the downloads folder. So you might want to go there and see the see some picture which you would like to modify or design or do anything with. So in my case, um, I took one of the smooth collie pictures. I've circled it here so you can see which one I'm taking and then you click the open button on the bottom right and um, yeah my windows isn't finished so sorry about that but uh, where it says ABBA um, that means open. After you click the open button uh, Canva will ask you do you want to use your design uh, in on the, or the picture in a new design or do you want to add it to a template and uh, I would recommend you go with the use in a new design feature so you click that one and uh, after that it'll go it's going to ask you what you would like to create and uh, from there uh, there is a list of things you might want to do with your picture I would go with the one that's up top uh, that says custom size and you click that one and now um, about sizes if you want your picture to be in any specific size like in my case I live in Europe we go with the ISO standards um, that have these A3s, A4s, A2s and stuff like that. It's um, quite simple, but if you live in America, for example, and you use the um, different standards, uh, you might want to go with inches, like some pictures usually are like 8 by 10 inches or 11 by 14 or something like that. And I chose to do this picture in 11 by 14 inches so basically you have to set the amount of pixels your uh, picture will have and Canva will um, kind of resize it and uh, I'm going to deliver you um, some pixel amounts that equal different sizes on the next page so you can have a look if you want to for example make some wall art and uh, you have certain size frames it's good to know how to make the picture match your frame so yeah let's have a look 
So here you can see some common sizes for wall art for example um, and the equivalent pixel amounts that you might want to input to your Canva. The previous page you saw at that Canva likes to ask you how many pixels the picture should have so you can have a look at this page and uh, copy the pixel amounts from here so I decided to go with 11 by 14 inches just for some reason I randomly selected that one and uh, as you can see now uh, the Canva opens up the uh, designing page here and you can see that the canvas behind the picture is wider than the picture itself so because the picture is not in 11 by 14 size and you should make it 11 by 14 so you just drag the picture um, to the left for example so that the left line uh, left side of the picture aligns with the left side of the canvas behind the picture and then you just go and uh, grab the right side of the picture and drag it to the right so that it will match the right side of the canvas behind the picture and so the canva will uh, make your picture a little bit bigger but it does not confuse the proportions and uh, that's a cool thing so you can basically make your pictures in different sizes here which is a nice thing because you might need different size of sized pictures for different situations so that's quite easy and uh, here you can see what happened so the picture is now a little bit taller than the frame oh sorry not the frame the canvas behind it so as you widen the picture up uh, the picture also grows uh, so now you can see that the picture is a little bit bigger than the 11 by 4 size so you can adjust the picture into the frame so that uh, which parts of the this case the dog I would like to have visible in the result so I'm just going to grab the picture and drag it a little bit, little bit downwards so that the dog's ears will be also in the picture after you have got your picture sized in the frame um, there you can see the share button on the top right corner click that one and the share this design um, leaf will open up and uh, you scroll it down a little bit and uh, click the download button and uh, as you click the download button the next pop-up will open and uh, there you can see the slider that says size and uh, you just grab the slider and max it out to the right so when you do that your picture no matter what size you made it will have three, 300 dots per inch if you max it out and uh, here you ha have the picture maxed out, then you click the download button from the bottom and um, it could take a little while because the picture, picture size is quite big um, but probably if you have a decent connection it's not gonna take longer than like 30 seconds or something like that. And after you have downloaded it, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So you can go there and open up the picture that you just downloaded. And you can go to the, in my case, I have a Windows computer. So I go to the Windows picture view tool. And and I, if I double click the picture from the downloads folder, it'll open up automatically. And uh, here you can see the information about the picture and it says 300 dots per inch here it's in Finnish but that's what it says so now you have a picture that was not too great quality wise and uh, you just modified it to 11 by 14 size with 300 dpi so 
so that's about all for now um, I can't think of anything more regarding this subject so thanks for watching and uh, um, I hope it was helpful and uh, yeah maybe see you next time bye